what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro nah i'm just messing with y'all man this your boy knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out before i get going hit my like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here share the video turn on your notifications and don't forget that i go live monday wednesday and thursday night at 7 30 p.m central time and you can also catch me live every sunday morning with the singing og kqkc boxing network sunday mornings 9 a.m central standard time and please join the channel as a member drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos that we drop the more support we have coming to the channel more time i get to spend dropping content for y'all and don't forget about the tko debate series hit me up if you want to debate knockout box 86 at yahoo.com but let's get it cracking man we got a fight prediction six round 175 pound fight between uh marati zola and dante benjamin zola's oh out of ohio six foot one orthodox fighter 28 years old four wins two losses with one knockout, Dante Benjamin, 21 years old, orthodox fighter, six foot tall out of Cleveland. Six wins, no losses, four wins by way of knockout. Um, and, and Zola has lost two of his last three fights, and he has never fought as an amateur before. And honestly, bro, he a brawler with poor hand positioning, and they just trying to set Dante Benjamin up for a big-ass highlight reel knockout, as only top rank can do with they, with they matchmaking. Dante Benjamin, a bunch of national tournaments, um, Amateur experience at the highest level here in America. Um, explosive. He's getting better working behind his jab. Um, I like I like how he's on the inside. He seemed comfortable trying to throw hooks, trying to throw uppercuts. Very aggressive, explosive fighter. Um, needs to work on his fundamentals. Needs to work on not throwing everything so explosive and fighting with one speed. To kind of change it up. Learn some nuances of the game. And there's a lot of these young fighters, bro. You hear me say it about a lot of young fighters coming up. Patience. Patience. Dante Benjamin is getting better with his patience, but he's still all gas, no brakes. And when it comes to breaking this shit down, and when you are analyzing this shit, you'd rather have a fighter like Dante Benjamin, though. You'd rather have to have a guy that you need to slow down a little bit, make him see things better in the ring, and get him to be more patient when he get guys hurt. Be more patient and methodical with the way that he does his work. You don't want to have to amp somebody up. You'd rather be able to teach and coach than to have to motivate. When you talk about a fighter, someone that wants to be world champion, or someone that's getting in that ring, risking their life, that is something you need to be self-motivated to do. If you have to be motivated, then odds are, bro, you're just not going to be you're not going to reach your full potential no matter how talented you are. So I do like the fact that patience is something that, you know what I mean, that that, that, that he needs to work on. When I when I get these fighters almost always, I'm like, man, he needs to turn up more. Man, I want to see him press the issue. I want to see him use those skills. More times than not, they end up not making it because you shouldn't have to be, you shouldn't have to be told to step on the gas. You shouldn't, not, not in fighting, bro, not in boxing, not in life. You shouldn't have to be told to step on the gas, to press forward, to give it your all and shit. That's just something you should want to do because something inside you want to be the best. But um, Dante Benjamin is one of them guys that's all gas, no brakes right now. As far as this fight, look, man, I'm not going to hold y'all. I think Zola, the fact that he's a brawler and he'll throw with you, his punch technique is not there. He throws wide punches, and then he fights with his hand position and all horrible, both hands below his chin. And he's not fast enough for that. He's not nuanced enough for that or skilled enough for that. He's open for left hooks, straight right hands. I think Dante Benjamin will be able to hit him with everything that he throws. Like, like, like punching this dude is going to be like going and standing out at the bank of a lake and taking a rock and just throwing it up in the air towards the lake. You know it's going to land in the water, bro. That's what punching at this dude is going to be like. Like, he's going to land his shit. So I anticipate Dante Benjamin to get him up out of there. Um, stoppage between round three and round four. This is one of them, you know what I mean? Top rank is very good at this, bro. It's going down in Ohio and keeping it 100 with y'all. The only fight they got any chance to be competitive is Jared Anderson and Charles Martin. And even that fight, and even that fight looking like it's just a, a showcase fight for Jared Big Baby Anderson. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. Share the video, turn on your notifications. Appreciate y'all watching. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.